Yo, what's up? What's up again? Lockout men in the building talking about this, this, this contagious, this, this seriousness that's going on. I knew it was going to happen. It was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. And it might not be this first driver. There might be more. Let's get into it. What's up, guys? Lockout Men here. I am your humble host. Welcome to the Lockout Men podcast. Uh, man, I, I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was coming. Knew it was coming. You know, we, in the midst of this outbreak right now, we truck drivers put our lives on the line for you guys to make sure that you get what you need, whether it's medicine, whether it's uh, uh, food, clothing on your back, the cars that you drive, the houses that you live in, the supplies that you need for these houses. Everything is brought by a truck driver. And, um, and we, we, we don't have the luxury. We, we just don't. We don't have the luxury of sitting home and working from home. We just don't have that luxury. We don't. It's just unfortunate that you guys get to have that luxury. The, the dispatchers, the, 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 the CEOs, the, 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 uh, the owners, they get that luxury of sitting at home. And doing work from home, getting the dispatches that we need from home, getting getting our getting our pay from home. Us truck drivers, we don't have that luxury. We just don't. It's unfortunately that it's unfortunate that we don't. Now, some truck drivers out here are yelling off the top of their lungs, like, yo, we should get more we should get paid more we should get hazard pay because this is a hazard now but uh unfortunately one of our own came down with the virus an otr truck driver from rhode islands described his experience from being diagnosed with the virus in a report the uh, truck driver says that he started feeling symptoms at the beginning of the weekend after two weeks out on the road. While the, system, while the symptoms started off mildly, he said that it soon escalated. It was getting hard to breathe. Chest pressure was getting hard on him. And he just felt like he was being squeezed in a vice. He had to go to the hospital. And at the hospital, he was tested. And unfortunately, he was tested positive for the virus. He was released and now he's at home. For an unprecedented amount of time. Now, being the truck driver, you don't have that. You don't have that pleasure. He might not have no 401k. He don't know where the money's coming from. If he's save up, you know, like we supposed to maybe he might have some fallback money or maybe he might have some of that stimulus package that might be coming his way or he can file for unemployment and um and hopefully he can get back on the road my prayers is going out to this man let's go to where we at let's go to kw or WPRI for the report. A local truck driver says he tested positive for COVID-19. He doesn't have the choice to work from home and he has concerns for his colleagues out on the roads, not just about their health, but about their access to basic needs. Iowa News News reporter Shino Lusciuto spoke with him and has the story that's new tonight. As a truck driver, Chris Bourne says he feels like there's not a lot of precautions being taken to protect him, and he admits he's not sure if there's a clear solution to his concerns, but he's hoping his story can help others understand what it's like. 
Many are praising truck drivers for playing a major role in the fight against COVID-19, acting as the lifeline to groceries and supplies while putting their own health on the line. And the truck drivers have to stay out. You know, they have to keep rolling. Truck driver Chris Boards from Burrowville finds himself behind the wheel for days at a time. He just came back from his most recent trip on Friday night. I started to feel, you know, a little bit of pressure on my chest, chest pressure, and um, some coughing, but nothing extreme. Things drastically got worse on Saturday. You know, the chest pressure continued. It felt like I was being squeezed in a vice. So he called his doctor and was tested for coronavirus. They, uh, they brought me in, did their routine testing. They admitted me into the hospital Sunday night, and the test results came back at 7 p.m. on Monday that I had tested positive. He's recovering at home now, but says he feels truck drivers are being overlooked during the pandemic. The truck drivers are in it together. We're in it for one reason, and we've been isolated from everybody else. He says it's been challenging. For example, he's been denied access to restrooms due to new guidelines set by different companies. He also worries about the cleanliness of truck stops, given the amount of people who go in and out every day. Those that don't need to be out, stay home. And the ones that do have the essential businesses that do that are running, you know, I mean, show the truck drivers some respect. The good news is Chris is at home and recovering. It's only been three days since he tested positive, but he tells me he's feeling better and getting stronger every day. That is good to hear. That is good to hear, my brother. And my prayers are with you. And yes, us truck drivers are now being praised for, you know, being out here doing what we've been doing for the longest. And now we're getting praise. We're now we're getting the respect. Now we're we're the heroes because we got to do what is need to be done to make sure that you guys at home is all right. Y'all still got to eat, right? Y'all still got to eat. The, the the grocery stores still need the food so you guys can go and get it. The restaurants that's not offering, you know, in in um not offering dine-in service that's offering the uh the the dine out or the the walk up or the the cashless or the 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 the, the deliveries the the contactless deliveries they still need the products to make the food who do you think that's going to bring it to them us truck drivers we the ones that's going to bring it to you we the ones that got to go out and sacrifice as sacrifice now put our lives in danger. Am I am I being a little forward by saying danger? Am I? I don't know. Am I being a little forward by saying danger? We we literally putting our lives in danger. You know. Think about it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Uh, much, you know, like I said, much love to this truck driver. You know, unfortunately, he, he was up in the northeast where his heart is hit. And um, he, he don't even know. It says right here, he don't even know where he contacted from. So now it's imperative. It's imperative to wash your hands, to put some gloves on, and maybe now a face mask, I guess. Because we don't even know it's, if, if it's airborne or not. Because it's, it's a lot about this virus we really don't know about. Everybody is speculating. Everybody is just opinionating. But in all honesty, we really don't know. And what we don't know is what we fear. We fear the unknown. So hopefully this get out to everybody. If, if you're in a truck stops, make sure y'all clean up the restrooms. Make sure that y'all go in there like instead of every half an hour, going there every 10 minutes. Make sure those showers are clean and disinfected. Make sure that these rest stops are clean. 
because us truck drivers, we're out here and we need to be protected too. Unfortunately, we can't we can't work from home like a lot of you guys can. So my prayers is out to this young man. He's getting stronger. He's getting stronger. You know. But one other thing before I get up out of here. You guys, the public, you guys need to realize that truckers, truck drivers like myself are putting their health and now life on the line in order to serve the American public. Myself, along with this young man right here, we just ask that we just be treated with a little bit more respect. That's it. That's all. And even after all of this, I, I'm hoping that we still get treated with a little bit more respect. Yo, I'm locked out, man. I appreciate you guys joining me. Thank you very much. I, uh, you guys want to holler at me or you guys got something to say or you want me to talk about something, definitely leave it in the comments below or hit me up in the Gmail, lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com. Or hit me over at the DM over at Instagram. Y'all know where I'm at. Y'all know where to find me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. And on that note, we are gone.